Welcome to my channel and, and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome so Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to light to over there. This is a general a decision reading. about what you want to do. Now this could be about you waiting for a legal decision to come through. This is a, uh, a card that is similar to the King of um, Swords. So this is about waiting for something to come through or waiting for a legal decision to be made over there. This could be even about sign, be about signing new contracts as well. So once this happens, you've got the Ace of Rods over here, an illumination card, so something beginning. As soon as this new contract is signed, you start a new job or a new project, or you're starting a brand new phase as well. That's got a lot of power in your hand over there. You have successfully completed things. You've got the Boundaries card over here. So this is about reaching financial security or stability but also the need for you to set boundaries for people not to step over or cross these boundaries. So that's very, very important. You tell people where to get off. <laughs> now, you, in the past, you've got the forgiveness card over here. So this is the six of rods. This is about having gone through a lot of problems and a lot of uh, issues, but being successful at what it was, overcoming things successfully over there. And there is that need for you to forgive what has happened in the past and move on. You've got the Passion card over here. Um, this is about maybe a new offer coming in for you there. Um, this is um, a Cups card. So this is uh, the uh, Page of Cups. So some kind of new message has come in over here. So this could be somebody asking for uh, forgiveness from you or an apology that may have come in for you there. So going into the future, you've got the crone, the resurrection card of year. So this is the king of cups as well. So this is a new offer that has come in. Uh, this is about uh, starting something brand new and going back uh, and accepting maybe an offer. Maybe you accept this apology that comes in for you there and you're starting afresh there. So this could even be, uh, you know, um, you needing to go and, uh, you know, start something uh, off again, going back into the past, looking, uh, reviving something from the past, bringing it back into um, into play uh, as such. So you may have been dealing with some very toxic energy as well over here. You've got the snake there. So, um, you know, maybe this person has been uh, very um, nasty towards you. They have, may have come for forgiveness. Maybe their intent now is, you know, uh, they're much more sincere about this apology that they offer for you, uh, offer to you. With the King of Cups, there's also this chance that, you know, uh, you may have been going through some um, health issues, and this is about overcoming those health issues as well. So needing to go and get some medical advice, uh, if that is in, um, if you're going through any health issues, you do need to go and seek some kind of advice, or you do need to seek, um, you know, some kind of help over there. You've got the Six of Earth over here, so this is the card of money coming as well. So this... Um, King of Cups could be even a new offer for a new job coming in for you with some teaching or learning attached to it. And that is what brings in the money. You've got Moon in Taurus there. That is a very, very good placement. So this is about money coming in as well. So this new job offer that may be coming in for you with that King of Cups could be a really well-paying job. And, you know, uh, there you've got this pot of gold. So it could be bringing you a lot of money. Um, you know, this whatever this offer is. And you're going to be starting something brand new. So maybe signing new legal contracts with that crone there and with this king of cups, this new offer coming in, but it certainly brings in a lot of money over here. There could be some legal decision as well that you might be going through as well. Um, and that in itself is going to bring in uh, the money that you need. So if you're waiting for some kind of settlement, it looks like there's going to be some payoff that comes in with that. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm going to be using the um, Mystic Monday Tarot for this main read. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the star card of here, the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands. So you are certainly making a lot of brand new beginnings over there. You've got the Six of Cups there. 
So it looks like there may have been an offer that has come in. It's a pretty good offer. Uh, it's something that is uh, going to grow into something even better than what you expected it to grow into. And there's this new op um, the Ace of Wands, so this new project coming in for you, some kind of work coming in for you there. And these are new contracts that are going to be signed as well with this Ace of Swords. So whatever battles you've been fighting, there's victory that comes in for, there, for you. Um, you're finding a new direction with the Star card over here. There might be a lot of international communication coming in for you, but you're definitely being guided to do this particular uh, job or guided uh, on this particular journey, this path that you're taking so what's happening for you here, you've got the judgment. This is about uh, letting go of the past, making a decision and moving forward. So, uh, you know, this is about following a new course in your life or course in your career. There might be, uh, you might be entering a phase where you're either going to be taking on uh, further learning or even training people up. You're certainly being seen as some kind of visionary at this particular time. You can see that uh, third eye is on the top of the pyramid over here. So your insight is invaluable to people and you're giving them a, a lot of um, whatever new ideas you're putting forth is quite revolutionary as well. So, um, you know, whatever job you're doing, you're taking on this element of being a teacher having learned a lot by your, uh, yourself, um, and uh, maybe this is why you're changing course as well. So you're going through a different phase, you're going through a different um, path in life, and you're, you're taking on the role as being a mentor, a teacher, somebody who's training up a lot of people. So you're putting out your uh, experience out to the world, really. You've been working pretty hard with that Three of Pentacles, working with a lot of people. You know, you're being seen as an expert as well. You've also been involved in some further training or further studying. Uh, you've got the Hermit card of here. Maybe spending a lot of time by yourself, isolating yourself a little bit from everybody. But you've been very, very work-focused. You've got that Three of Pentacles sitting next to the Hermit card. Both of these are Earth signs. So you've been really focused on your work, focused on your money and also learning a lot as well. You're becoming an expert at whatever it is you're doing at the moment, and that is why you're taking on that role now as being a teacher, somebody who is going to be giving out advice or information. A lot of people will come to you uh, for your opinion. You've got the Knight of Cups, so it seems like there was an offer that has been made for you, and this is a new job offer, and it's one that has got to do with study uh, as well. So you are maybe you're working in some kind of institution like a university or a college or some place where you're training up people, but this new jo job offer has come in for you. And there's also a lot of travel that's involved with this new offer, so maybe going overseas and doing training for people overseas um, you know, training people on that international basis as well. This is a brand new cycle beginning for you. So it's a new phase in your career, in your life. And you're an expert right now. So you're giving out some expertise, some expert advice. You've got the Princess of Pentacles. So this is about uh, focusing on that work, focusing on that coin. And this is, uh, you know, focusing on this new job. So this is what you will be doing soon. Uh, so this is a new pathway that you're undertaking. And it's got to do with further learning, further training of people. But also it's a new career path for you here. You've got the Two of Cups here. So you will be working with somebody that is really on the same page as you are, um, you know, and they will um, compliment you as well. So you all are almost feeding off each other there. Um, you know, you all are almost, it's almost like a soulmate connection. So uh, very compatible with this particular person that you're going to be working with uh, in this new job. And, you know, it's it's to do with study or training. Uh, you've got those, those two cups being exchanged. So there's an exchange of knowledge going on between the two of you there. You've got the nine of swords. So you're very stressed out still about what is coming for you. Maybe this is something brand new. You never thought about it. And... Uh, you know, you might also be getting a lot of criticism from people around you. So just be aware of that. You know, you don't uh, take everything to heart. This is about being a bit stressed out, not sleeping well at night, um, you know, thinking about things too much, being too much in your head and, you know, letting other people's opinions sway you. So don't let that happen. Now, what's uh, uh, in your hopes and fears? You've got the four of swords over here. So all the stress means that you might be you know, you might need to take a little bit of a break from things. Um, you might have, a, you know, be dealing with a little bit of uh, conflict around you, uh, but you need to take a little bit of a break, come up with a strategy, and don't stress yourself too much about what is coming in. So maybe the new is, is up, you know, making you a bit scared, but you need to, um, you know, take a little step back, look at things objectively, and uh, come up with a plan. 
Now you've got that two of swords. So this is about butting heads with somebody. Uh, you can see these swords are bent. So, uh, you know, uh, maybe the truth is not coming out as it should be or things are not uh, being seen as they should be seen uh, and you are butting heads with somebody. Maybe somebody's being very, very critical. There's a stalemate situation over here that's going on with that two of swords. The queen of swords says that, you know, when you're at this particular point where you're, um, you know, there's a conflict going on, you do need to speak your truth over there. Uh, there's something that is missing. There's some decision that has to be made. Both these cards are also about decision. You can see there's a two of these mountains behind you. So there's some kind of big decision that has to be made over here. The truth needs to come to light because this woman's got some um, something over her eyes. So she's not seeing things quite as clearly as it should be. Um, you know, you need to tell people to stop. You need to, to um, you know, reassess the situation again and speak your truth and stand up for yourself over here with that Queen of Swords. So this is a waiting for a decision to be made, but there is some kind of information that you need to uh, look into. Uh, and um, you've got the Nine of Wands over here. Watch your back, really. Um, you know, um, make sure that you have all your facts at hand over here when you fight uh, this particular battle. So somebody over there, You've got all the experience behind you. You need to draw on that. Um, that Nine of Wands is about being defensive, but also needing to stand up for whatever it is you have been fighting for. And it's it's almost like a last battle that needs to be fought. You do need to stand up and speak your truth in order to, for you to win. So it's, a, it's almost like it's a very verbal um, battle that needs to be fought. It could be something legal as well, because you've got Two of Swords and the Queen of Swords over here. So maybe waiting for a legal decision to come in as well. Um, but you need to be, you know, present everything that has, uh, all the facts need to be presented and you need to be very, very logical about how you approach this. Don't let your emotions get the better of you. You're feeling very tired. Uh, you know, you, it seems like you've gone through a lot and, you know, this is almost like the final battle and you almost are out of steam over here, but you need to hang in there. This is the card about persevering as well. So make sure you, um, you know, Draw in from those uh, that strength, that inner strength that you have, because you will be able to sort this out. You have fought a lot of battles and won, and this is almost like that final battle before everything gets sorted out. So whoever this person is that's giving you a little bit of grief, um, you know, they might not be, uh, they might have, have all uh, the facts at hand, and maybe that's why they're having a go at you. And there needs to be some kind of enlightenment that comes in there so that, um, you know, you win this battle. So do your research, in other words. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, wolf pack. And the first card is Rejoice. Finally, the drama in your life is over. It's time to celebrate, rejoice, and go on with your life in a creative way. A newfound freedom financially, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. So there is victory for you over there. So even though you're butting heads with this person, you will conquer whatever this fight is. It, you will be a winner. Uh, next card is prayer, and it says the time to renew your faith and trust in a greater power. Know that your prayers will be answered with action and faith. Expect a miracle. Trust in the powers of prayer. So pray for something to happen in a positive way, and it looks like God is going to be on your side because uh, a miracle is about to come your way. So things are going to go your way, but you need to connect with the divine. That's important. And the fool, so something going on in your life that is obvious that you're ignoring impending danger. So this could be emotional, physical danger. Wake up and do not be a fool. Danger is near. Now, this card is showing that there is something going on around you. Maybe this person has got something up their sleeve that you didn't know about. Um, so you need to re do your research. Be very, very much in the know about what is going on. Be aware about what is going on. And don't let this person walk all over you as well. So if they have anything that is hidden, a hidden agenda, you need to expose it as well. Um, so do your research. This is very, very important in order for you to win this battle. Because you can see in this card, the Queen of Swords, she's got something over her eyes over there. So this is being in the dark about something. There's some kind of information that needs to come to light in order for you to make a uh, informed decision and for you to be victorious. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Angel Tarot. And the first card is the Five of Air, which says an unwise choice. Learn about, learn all you can about from the situation and review everybody's motives. 
So this fire of air, air is about conflict that is going on and you do need to look for hidden agendas and there's some information that does come need to come to light in order for you to be victorious in this conflict. You've got the Emperor card over here which says organization and logic, <coughs> structure and discipline and leadership. Now this is a card ruled by Archangel Michael so this is about justice so this could be about uh, divine justice coming into play or this could be about you dealing with some kind of legal issue um, and you need to do some research about it in order for you to sort it out so you might be involved in some kind of conflict where the courts have been involved over here but you make sure that you get legal advice or you know you do your research quite carefully and the final card is moon card so important psychic uh, insights uh, events behind the scenes release fears that hold you back now this person that you're dealing with might be using um, you know some kind of means that is not really honest so be aware of that there's a bit of lies and deception that comes out with the moon but the moon also talks about something that's been hidden so there's some kind of information that does need to come to light something that has been buried that you need to expose in order for you to win this so if you're dealing with legal issues you do need to research and find out what that hidden information is and like i said with that queen of swords over there there's something that you're not seeing so get some advice ask somebody um you know get a new perspective on it uh and uh, or a new insight in order for you to win whatever this battle is that you're fighting over here um, and that once that information comes to light you will be victorious in it but you need to expose this uh, information in order for you to um, get victory in the situation so i hope this reading has resonated with you and please don't forget to like share subscribe and leave me some comments if it has and thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye